The long anticipated clutch. We don't know who the father is in this clutch. We're hoping, we're hoping it's a platinum head albino father. But if it's not, it's still going to be the first ever Super Suns and Super Sun albinos. Otherwise, it's going to be a Super Sun, I mean, excuse me, a Platinum Sunfire albino and a Platinum Sunfire. So any way we look at it, this is a pretty exciting day for us. We put a lot of effort into this, and so far it's the only eggs that we even have in the incubator that can do any of this. So one of the first eggs to cut, just like we always wait for, it's got a couple cuts in it. Oh, it looks like a Sunfire albino something. Oh, and it is. It's an either, it's either probably an albino sunfire. We're not sure if we can even tell the difference between a platinum albino sunfire. So, wouldn't think that was a super sun because it looks more like a platinum, but I mean, and more like a, a, a sunfire albino, but a platinum may lighten them. Oh, it looks like it's a super sun to me. So. That, I'm almost positive, is a super sunfire. <clears throat> which is which is only one that possibly has ever been in existence is Bob's original one was a super was a super we think. Because when it bred it produced only this one we think's dead. And we think it still is, maybe. Can't tell. Wow. It's funny. It reminds me of a tiger. Oh, look at that. That's a super sun. Mm -hmm. So we got super suns. So I don't know if we'll hatch a super sun albino or not, but we're hoping. So the platinum did not get the clutch, unless we get lucky and the platinum got the two fathers. The way the this looks like the sun, the super sun greatly reduces the pattern, therefore reminding you of a of a tiger sunfire. But instead of it reducing the color, it'll double the color, and the dots. I don't. <laughs> these are new. These are unique sunfires, so we don't know what's going on. It seems like we're having too many that look like super suns. See, look at that. It looks just like a tiger in the back. Wow. I think that one's kinked. Yeah. Oh, goodness. That's a super sun. Yeah. So we got, we got a few super suns here for sure. And, of course, if you breed these, you get 100% suns. Oh, there's what we wanted. There's what we wanted. There's a snake. I'm almost positive. Yeah. That's a super sun albino because it's just about patternless. It seems like it's it looks like a tiger. <clears throat> the pattern looks like a tiger because it's so reduced from the sunfire, canceling out like it does in the back of the snake all the way to the front. Wow, doesn't that look like a tiger? That's a super sun there. Wow, that's the front half that looks like the tail half of a of a sunfire. That's they look like super they look like tiger sunfires with more color. Because the tiger actually removes some of the color and, and displaces it. That's a normal sunfire. Seventy five percent should be super suns. Sunfires. No, 75% should be, 25% should be super suns. There's, there's another there's super, super sun. sun. They're obviously different. Wow, they're incredible. So I think right now we got like three super suns and a couple, and one albino super sun for sure. Normal. There's our first normal.
Man, it's weird. They look like tigers. So odd. My goodness. Wow. That is bright. That is definitely, definitely a Super Sun albino. So I think we got two Super Sun albinos for sure now, and at least two or three Sunfire Supers. I guess which we should have five. I don't think we have one normal albino in the clutch. Not very many albinos, but. Look at the tail. Is that the tail? Yeah, that's just a albino. Anyway, that was, we're excited. We can't wait to see these things out of the egg. We'll get you, uh, we'll try to get some video of them out of the egg, but usually we wait for the photography because it looks better. So we definitely got some unique brand new snakes in this bunch. So first ever and, uh, we're excited, to say the least. Uh, we, we're still working on trying to get another chance at this. So hopefully soon we'll get one of the other females to go and we'll have tigers of all this stuff. So anyway, hope you guys had fun. We'll get you up to date pictures as soon as we get a chance. And they get out and do their thing. Remember, I cut all the eggs because as soon as they start slitting, I'm not willing to let any of these drown. So take care.